I live in South County Dublin, quite close to the ancient village of Tala. It's now, of course, the new town Tala, where everyone seems to be on the go all the time. Plenty of ways of making money and plenty of ways of spending it. But it wasn't always that way. And in the last century, people found it very hard to make ends meet. And it was probably even more difficult to survive in the hills to the south of Tala. And tomorrow I'm going to take you up the hills close by and show you where the local people created a little industry using nature to the fullest in order to put a loaf of bread on the table. First of all, we'll go down to Tala and have a look at it now as it is in the year 2004. We'll come back here and I'll give you a little clue about tomorrow. And then in the morning, if all goes well, we'll head up the hills. Okay, right, let's go to Tala first of all. And here's Tala, where everyone seems to be on the go. Indeed, you wonder how the wall is. Bypass, where the traffic never seems to stop. Even the ducks in the park seem to be on the go. Crown Farm, a sure sign of prosperity. And these two, they're probably the only things that aren't on the move, although they probably would if they could. The Tala Main Street, it hasn't changed an awful lot since early in the last century. And then to the south of Tala, the Dublin Mountains. And tomorrow morning, all being well, we'll head up there to that hill there in the background. Do you see the little knob on top of it? That's where we'll head for. But first, I'm heading home for a bit of a heat up. Are you coming? Uh, the hills don't look too bad. Just the breeze is picking up a little bit. But it'll be probably okay for the morning. Yes, nice log fire to heat you on the outside. And something else, perhaps, to heat you on the inside. Hello. If you believe the television, we might get a little sprinkle of snow in the morning. Which are when do they ever get it right? Good night. Now, let's see what the morning has in store for us. Oh. Gardaí have advised motorists oh, yeah. to drive with care this morning after overnight falls of snow and sleet in many parts of the country. Main roads are passable, but conditions could become more difficult if there's a sudden drop in temperature. The northwest appears to have had the worst of the weather, but parts of the east and midlands are also affected. A number of schools in Donegal and Roscommon. about the weather. Now there's no need to keep on reminding me. Come on. And there's Tala in the distance. And down below here the valley of Glen and Small running off to the south. Where Fimakul, Ushin and the Fena has so many adventures. mighty Kipur mountain to the south with the television mast on it. Come on, we didn't come here to enjoy the scenery. Let's go. Ah, that's more like it. A piece of boggy ground and rushes. Wherever you find rushes, 
your fine water. And wherever there's water, you'll find ice. And that's what we came all the way up here for. Ice. In times gone by, the local people used to harvest this ice. Cut it in lumps, in slabs. And harvest it to try and make some money out of it. Nature's bounty. Now, what do they do with this ice? Throw it away? No. They would take it over here to one of these very deep pits called ice houses. And these ice houses are over three meters deep and extremely cold down here. The ice will be stored here for many months. Later, it will be brought to Dublin on horse and cart and sold to the wealthy houses and shops in the Dublin suburbs around Rat Mines and Ratgar. It's very cold down here indeed and the sun only hits the northern rim on it there at midday and this is about midday now and you can see where the sun hasn't penetrated very deep down into the ice house at all. Here, it's very cold down here, I'm getting out. Here's another one, a bit deeper again I think. And you can see at the back here where there was a wall built. Most likely stones that were quarried out of this hole when the hole was being dug. And this wall will be go right around the ice house to keep the banks from falling in. Over the winter there might be tons of ice stored in these ice houses. They will be covered over with sods and layers of furze bushes and it will keep for an amazing long time. At this altitude we're about 390 meters above sea level which is over 1100 feet and that makes all the difference to the temperature. Oi! Any chance of a lift? Thank you. No, I'm afraid it's all footwork again. Back down. Back down to civilization. Thank you.